Okay, here we are. We're doing a little uh, yard sailing today with the uh, Penobscot 17 Hannah. Just picked her up yesterday. Brought her up from Gainesville, and we're working out, sorting out some of the rigging, trying to see if we can figure out what's going on in this uh, balance lug rig. Talked to the uh, builder today, Bob Pitt. He gave me some uh, information on how to get the yards, the halyards downhauls and the apparels all sorted out so we can get it rigged. We set it up today one of the ways that uh, Doug recommended. That little, uh, the boom alternating, putting one on either side so that if you're on one tack you can see the sail uh, wind flowing freely around it with no interference from the mast. Whereas on this same tack, this other side of the mast, the sail presses up against it. So when you tack and head the other way, you can get the opposite. So you'll have one sail that's at free flow at all times. You may see the boats rigged uh, with them both on the same side. So this is uh, done on purpose today. This, but she's. Uh, and I've got an op's got 17, and she measures 17 feet. Stem to stern on the length overall, and the water line's uh, right around 16 feet, I think, just a little bit under. Bob did some great work, uh, detail work on the uh, foredeck here. And, uh, Hannah's got nice uh, bronze throughout with the cleats and the uh, chocks. And these rub strips that were added. So when we, uh, when I eventually uh, bash into things so rub strip can take the brunt of it nice little details here out like little limber holes cut in so water can drain so they have the uh, Florida teak uh, floorboards which is just some inexpensive lumber you can get from Lowe's or Home Depot this uh, I was excited I thought maybe that was a cup holder but it's if you want to take the boat out with just one sail, that's where that, uh, the master worked for that. The uh, sail had, or the mast had cleats, and one was a little higher than the other, so I gave Bob a call, figured out which one was for which. So this is higher cleat, goes forward. That's for the halyard. This uh, lower cleat aft is for the uh, downhaul up to the boom. So there's one line for that, and then there's another line of calling that apparel that holds the boom uh, secure to the mast. Pan up the dabbler sails, made these nice Dacron sails are nice and soft with uh, one set of reef points in them. Let's go up the top, the higher it comes through the shiv at the top of the mast, comes down through a little fair lead, and then I put just a marlin hitch. I don't know if that's the best one yet. And ran the uh, end of the line around and down to the forward end of the gaff arm. And you see that line is what holds the yard snug against the mast at the top. Bought the boat from Doug. He sailed uh, Cedar Key. It sailed Florida 120 events. He's been in the uh, Florida Gulf Coast traditional small craft events around Sarasota. It's also made a few trips up north, it sounds like, to a few other uh, boat shows. But the uh, that's what the yellow, yellow pennants for the Florida 120 boats that are out participating now to fly that to let the other boats out there know that they're part of the event. The uh, aft mast is taller than the forward mast. This little uh, schooner gaff rig. Got nice uh, seats underneath the seats. Uh, Bob built in, uh, or actually uh, Turner built in flotation. And uh, Bob finished out the hull. So it's got uh, a little bit of foam throughout. It's got the same, this is an Arch Davis design, Penobscot 17, the same lap strike a plank on stringer design that our 14 is. Got uh, two sets of rolling stations. You can either roll forward 
Go down a little pad, but so you're not sitting on those blocks. Same thing aft. Stations here. They put a nice little lanyard on the oar lock so they don't go for a swim. And originally the boat was set up with some uh, bronze cleats for the uh, sheets. And then Doug added some uh, fair leads with cam cleats. This is our aft sheet for the aft sail and then uh, on the other side for the uh, forward sail. Middle set of lines is running for uh, ex extension and retraction of the uh, centerboard. We also had some nice oars made uh, by Sean Tenney, custom uh, nine and a half footers. They uh, worked on some, uh, I believe, a late 1890s design. And changed up the grip a little bit. Another nice tiller, another little different design that uh, Bob Turner put on it. You see, uh, see this barn door rudder. So you can, uh, wherever you can go shallow with that keel, you can go the same place with the rudder without worrying about it uh, kicking up the um, arches rudder design. The 14 and the 17 has this uh, kick up rudder that can be uh, retracted. You can see the similar uh, stringer plank design on the 14 that we're uh, pulling together. So this is the Arch Davis design, Penobscot 17. Formerly known, formerly known as Junie Jump Up. Formerly known as Ransom 2. And now known as Hannah. It's a family name and it's also the name of the first American armed vessel in the Revolutionary War.